the very first thing that we're going to need to do when we're learning how to program the robot is how to create an environment in which it can interact. So I've opened up the Virtual Robotics Toolkit by double clicking on the icon on my desktop. And now I have a couple of different options here. I'm actually going to scroll down a little bit in order to get the apartment challenge here. So when I click on it, it's going to ask me what I want to name the project. So I'm going to name it Demo Apartment. You can name it anything you like. And then now we are in the simulation. I can't really do anything with the robot yet because I don't have a way to program it yet. And the simulator is not running. So if I hit WASD, the robot is not going to move. As it says here, I need to press the play button, which you can find here, in order to actually get the simulator started. Now, if I want, I can move it with W, A, S, and B keys. But we're actually more interested in how to make the robot do what we want it to do, how to program it. So in order to do that, I need access to this brick here. I get that by going up to view, and then I select EV3 here. That brings up a virtual copy of the brick. So all I have to do now is turn it on with the dark gray button. I have a few menus here and you navigate them with the left and the right buttons like this. And you can also select up and down to select things from the menu. If you're in a menu and you want to go back, you can press this button here to move back one step. Now, I have my robot turned on, so now I need to program it. So I'm going to come down here to the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 programming environment. And on the third tab here, I'll see that the vacuum cleaner is there. So I click on vacuum cleaner. And uh, you don't have to update the firmware because our robot is a virtual robot. So we're just going to close that. And now the Lego software is talking directly to the simulator software.